Tunimbo and Atiku should not bother coming to me. I will not welcome them. Pa Ayo Adibanjo. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Pa Ayo Adibanjo, the acting leader of the Pan Yoruba Social Political Group, Afeni Ferrer, has issued a warning to the candidate of the All Progressives Congress APC, Asiwa Jubola Ahmed Tunimbo, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Al Haji Atiku Abubakar, not to bother visiting him as they're not welcome to his residence with less than 100 days until the hotly debated 2023 presidential elections in Nigeria. Badi Banjo, who has seen declared his support for Peter Gregory B, the candidate of the Labour Party, said in an exclusive interview with the Independent on Sunday that he would in no way be meeting with any other candidate in the race because doing so would amount to using the affinity with about to the Afenifera using double standards. The group will continue to support an Igbo presidency in 2023. He continued, adding that the South South and Southwest have each had a fair share of power since democracy was restored in the nation in 1999. He said, I will not welcome them, Atiku and Tunembu. What will I be meeting other presidential candidates for? They should not come to me. That to me is hypocrisy. I do not play double games. They cannot convince me to endorse or vote for them. I've already declared support for B and my reasons are clear. My reason is principally ideological and constitutional. We have decided to support an Igbo man for president in 2023 if we genuinely believe in Nigeria as a single entity. Our motives are evident. The Igbo people of the South East have never held the presidency in Nigeria and since the position is due to return to the South and the South West currently holds the position of vice president, while the South South has held the presidency for a total of six years, equity requires that it be given to the South Easterners. Okay, um, somebody is saying here, before I say something, somebody is saying as if a king, as if he is a king's maker, Mr. Ma, you have only one vote, that is all. You see, eh, a lot of people who are fighting Paddy Banjo, you are fighting the wrong person. Uh -uh. This man says, see who I won't vote for. And I've said it before, if you have been following Afenifer for a while, if you have been following especially Padi Banjo for a while, all his talks is sent at him. We cannot be saying that we want unity and you are sidelining the people. It's not done. You cannot say you want peace and you are always spiking people. You are always inciting people. You are sidelining them so that when they now talk, you now come outside and say, eh, that is why you cannot be, that is why you cannot be the president. That's what people do. If you see what is going on in the southeastern region now, let me even say this issue of Nam they cannot going on. These people have been incited. The court have told them, release this man, he is acquitted and free of all charges. He is not guilty. Let him go. You hold him back. Now, if these people out of annoyance come out and say things, eh, that is why the southeastern region, they can never the country, they will do this, clinical, clinical. That is it. You cannot beat a child and tell them not to cry. That is emotional abuse. I know our parents do that very, very well when we're little, but I'm telling them that is emotional abuse. You cannot be the child and want, don't, don't want him to express the pain of you beating him. It's not, it's not, it's not okay. It's not okay. You go allow him making cry out in pain. Beating a child and telling him to close his mouth at the same time is, is wickedness. So it is also going to be wickedness if the Southeasterners, you are not carrying them along. <laughs> and, you know, you're not carrying them along. At the same time, you don't want them to stalk. No, it's not possible now. You, can, you know, the thing is, you know what the South Easterners will say? They will say it is better that they slave outside. The people who will tell you, it better say make I slave outside. Though. Make I slave outside. Make I know say they outside and outside they do me. Then say make I know say my person they do me. Ah, no. They cannot take it. Why do you think that some people, when something is done to them by outside, they can bear? But they are on the feet killing because they don't know. How can you do this thing to me now? You be my brother. Ha -ha. Do you understand? I'm just giving you a scenario. So if you are coming, because I see a lot of comments like, oh, you know, uh, the South East Senators, uh, they're not ready for presidency. They're not playing along. And I'm asking myself, in NNPP, they are South East Senators. In APC, they are South East Senators. In PDP, they are South East Senators. So what's the problem here? Hmm? What are they saying? In PDP, there was a ruling party before for how many? For 16 years. They were, they were, they were there. They are there. 
So tell me how the southeastern region are not playing politics. If you want to talk about the commoners in the southeastern region, the southeastern region are not seeming to participate because of the non chalatness They notice that if they vote for their governors, finish. If they give the governors their mandate and they march as governors, the governors will put their own interest above their own interest as a people. That is why these people can say, okay, eh, if not like that, I want them to make it not so, not so it be now. Make it be like that. That is why it seems like their leaders, they know, they know fancy them. Yes. That is why it seems like their leaders, they know fancy them at all. Okay. This old papa again, just looking for relevance. Really? Somebody who is 90 plus is looking for relevance. <laughs> Hey, who you be, Seth? Jagaban Atiku should not even go to him. He has practically no influence among the senior members. And he's not telling you people that he has influence. All he's saying is that he has spoken and this is where he's standing. If you ask me, since he since Jagaban went to what they call the fashion ranty and endorsed him, somebody I've not heard what. People are like, eh, my is the one concentrate, and I'm saying, okay, yes, wait, hold up. So you are saying somebody will be sitting come outside, open and endorse person before. Because now, somebody endorses another person. You're not coming out to say, nah, him be the problem. How? Like, just listen to yourself. You have two children. Somebody don't do something since to come out. You understand? And then somebody come and like, eh, it's because it is one. Like, excuse me, I don't come off house before, you know. So how, uh, how my own use join? It's written at the talk. Neither, neither people will tell you. Do you understand? We cannot keep deceiving ourselves. We cannot say we want equity and then deep down, we don't want to share equal rights. We don't want the laws to be equal in our places. We cannot say we want equity, fairness and judgment. And then, I mean, fairness and justice. And then we don't do the right thing. We don't want everything to be equal. We still want somebody to, we should want to take the bigger share. Some people to take the bigger share and let, let the people, some people settle for crumbs. It's not done. And you are saying, hey, we are Nigeria. No. That is why some people are saying, if it is like that, make them work out. Make them bounce. No wahala. If you are going to do it like that, let them bounce. But if you, they want to stay together, let them equity, fairness, and justice. And to me, it's a fair play. They're not asking for too much. They're not saying give us land. They're not saying give us gold or silver. They're saying treat us rightly if you want us to live together. And to me, it is not so much to ask. Hmm? So, Pade Banjo and a stand for a better Nigeria, united Nigeria. If you really, really want to be united, we must do it. We must do everything in equity and in fairness and also in justice. Else, you just waste our time.